with Kenny and Gail. High atop the rooftop of the Hotel Astoria. Remember all those radio shows that came from high atop the rooftops? Not I. I wasn't here. In New no, York, right? It wouldn't be in... Anyway, <laughs> talk about high atop something. High atop Lake Arrowhead. You guys were good ready. Good transition. He's yeah. good How like about that? that. He's very good like that. We sure. left from so right. Gail Hit lying down to high atop. Yeah, yeah we didn't right. come back to Gail lying down, did we? Well, she lies down and then she eats. That's the truth. That's the two things she does. <laughs> but more, impo more <laughs> life, important is the seminar right. that you... I, I, I was so disappointed I didn't get to go up there with Norman Lear and... Who and else? Jim Brooks and Dave Davis spoke, and Gail and I spoke, and Richard about Pryor what? spoke about, what? about writing and the theme, which got forgot, which got forgotten. A high. I like that. Got are forgot. you? Got which um, he's good with words. Everyone right? forgot the, there was a theme to that whole seminar, which was ri a comedy writing as a social consciousness, which of course gets forgotten the minute you get up there because people just say question, uh, how come you wrote the Sheila Levine and, and didn't use that, you know, they forget the subject matter, really. And so did we, you know. We talk they, they talked a lot about what, you, what we were going to talk about. It was this uh, family hour, which what is now mean? in the What's three the networks between eight and nine. Everything's going to be very clean. And has it been dirty before? It hasn't Haven't been Haven't you watched filthy. this show? <laughs> but, you know, you snuck things in as a writer. And what you did was and I'm telling the whole inside track on this, is that you snuck, like, if you put seven dirty things in a script, you can maybe have three at the end. So you overloaded it, and you trade off with the you censors. You can trade, this yeah. is that extra. Right, you I'll let you have two of those if you do yeah. two. But if, yeah. if I can have a gosh darn it, you can have, you know. Mm -hmm. And you, yes, you absolutely go and negotiate. With but now the there's no negotiation. Now there's no negotiations between eight and nine. Everything's going to be very, like, you know, for little children. But will that include not having any violence, or is violence excluded? From violence us? they like. They no, like no, violence okay. is family entertainment. It's crazy. How do you feel about that, folks? Do you like yeah. violence on the screen for your family yeah. hour? Yeah. Speak up. They've really picked... You do like it. <laughs> yeah. Sure. No, I don't believe They've it. They've picked on the comedy programs most, but uh, in other words, what it is is the networks have given a sort of decree, I should say, uh, to all the producers to keep the shows family-oriented. So shows like uh, Mary Tyler Moore, all in the family... They're on After Night. Um, all in the Family is in that, is all in in the that category. Is in the family now, you know that on wow, All in the Family... Wow, so that's, that, that's going to... Uh, that's going to call for a pretty heavy reevaluation. Yeah. Right. Archie is going to have trouble with his toast. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just saying, Ma, Ma. And the big premise will be she burnt the roast beef. <laughs> and you know, no, what the producers said, though, was that they're not going to get carried away by this edict. They're going to do one script at a time, as they always have, and argue each one out. So that the so-called family entertainment thing should be one of those things that, that happens every so often in television that could be forgotten quickly, you know, the edict. But it seems like we're going really, back, it? doesn't it? I mean, How like, do you I mean? What so, do you mean by that? Really we made was. so much progress with uh, Norman Lear did with All in the Family mm -hmm. and everything. And so many that was an things. English show originally, you know that, yes. didn't you? Yes. And a lot of, the, a lot of the, the, the language, a lot of the subjects you could never bring up. Virgin was something you couldn't mention on television. Isn't that They considered that dirty. Right. We <laughs> once wrote a sketch for Carol Burnett uh, where she did a takeoff on Doris Day. And she said to the guy who was renting the apartment, I must warn you, I'm, I'm a virgin. And he said, hmm, serves you right. They wouldn't <laughs> let us use the word virgin. So she ended up saying, I must warn you, I'm a nice person. <laughs> oh, goodness. And he said, serves you right. You can never show a bathroom. I don't know if you still can show virgins a bathroom. Virgins aren't nice. I, I mean, non-virgins aren't nice, that means. I guess. That's you couldn't trouble. say toilet. You could say bathroom bowl. That's right. Oh, we had a really funny thing, actually, this year with censorship on Smothers. There was like, they were, you were allowed to, you had to change God to saint. You had to change God to a saint, and uh, oh my toilet saints. to toilet, toilet paper to toilet tissue. Yeah. But we negotiated. You could, we could do one or the other. Oh, you could nice. keep God and toilet paper. Or say, <laughs> say oh my <laughs> saint. There's they no toilet tissue. Oh my saint. There's yeah. no toilet. That's people <laughs> use toilet paper. They don't use toilet tissue. They used to use newspaper, but yeah. but that no, actually you use saint and toilet paper or God and toilet tissue. We'll give you a choice. We'll give you a choice. I mean, do you believe it? No, I don't. I find it you know, the, extraordinary. I'd like you to uh, look at something with me, and that is, you said, Gail, that we had entered into an era of permissiveness. But if you look at it, 
there's a double, triple, quadruple standard there because Norman, mm. Norman Lear really did get it on. I mean, mm -hmm. he could use words like get it on. Yeah. Uh, however, Sanford and Son, under the same uh, heading, under the same company, they were riding all over them in the beginning. Yeah, they do that, especially with a new show. Once a show is successful, they're more lenient. I, I really believe that. And I think each network is different. I don't think that uh, the CBS people that were up at Arrowhead this weekend are as nervous about the Family Entertainment Hour as the NBC people. But well, what's brought so about this conclusion now? I mean, why, what's brought about this change? Why have they suddenly said, well, between eight and nine... Do you want to know what they yeah. set up there? Now, this is interesting. It sounds like the George Putnam Mort Saul Hour <laughs> when I talk about this part. They really think that there are people whose names we all know, but they won't say the names that really from the high up and who are passing this down. I mean, who could it be? You know, the president, someone in the cabinet, higher. the FCC. Higher. Higher than the higher. president. <laughs> no, I mean the saint? <laughs> uh, Norman has great doubts, and I'm not misquoting him now. I'm sure he'd, he'd say it on the air, would you, Norman? Well, I'm going to say <laughs> that uh, he really thinks it's people that uh, you'd be surprised at just singular people, individuals. Name names, Kenny. Go ahead. I don't know. Pat Nixon. No, I don't know. He wouldn't, he wouldn't <laughs> mention no, we're Trisha. Really, we're talking yeah. about censorship, though, literally, aren't we? I mean, we're yes. talking about... Well, there's never been any contest. He thinks it's a political it's, thing. He thinks yeah. it's a political thing. Well, everything is, but... Not political in the networks, but political in the government. Political in, the in, government. in our yeah. government. Well, was Isn't it a federal scary? ruling? Mm -hmm. uh, An FCC ruling? The FCC has gone along with it, so it, that scares you, too. Well, the... That's one of the things that has to be given to the issue is that these people out here own the air. A lot of times networks and stations forget. Right. But the FCC always remembers that everybody, we're all, uh, they See, FCC licenses. That's what drives You know, we crazy. found out this year that 1,200 people are Nielsen families. Right? They're 1,200 Nielsen. 1, oh, yeah. Right. That's all. And that's 1,200 individuals. Uh, there's... 360 babysitters. Oh, right. There's uh, 78 dogs. 1,200 houses. And stupid <laughs> dogs, too. Not really smart. <laughs> they like Lassie a lot. So we figured yes. out, somebody said, well, how can you do something better than the ratings? And um, there was some research on that everybody has really a voting instrument in their house that you don't realize, which is um, the bathroom bowl. And that if everybody... Oh, Gail, you can say toilet. This is no, a... No, the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. It's if right next to the tissue. <laughs> if everybody in a city flushes at one time, then the water level does go up considerably, and you can get an accurate reading. Of like who's watching of television? Who's watching so television? So like, if all you people yes. who, are, who are in Reseda were watching, we wanted to know who in Reseda was watching this show, we would ask them to flush, and we would know immediately. It really does seem more fair. 1,200 families is, is ridiculous. And practically everyone so, has a toilet. We're going to come up with a name. We're going to come up with a name for this rating after this commercial. I read that somewhere. You flush.